Hi guys, in today's video I'll show you how to create a smooth shake easily in After Effects. I haven't shared shake tutorials in a long time, so I think you'll enjoy this one. Before we begin, I want to let you know that you can get the AM Film Shakes Pack from the link in the description below. I've created 16 smooth and professional shakes that are perfect for speed ramp edits and more, so feel free to check it out. Let's get started. Let's begin by creating a new adjustment layer. Now go 30 frames forward by holding shift and pressing page down 3 times, and cut the layer at that point. Next Next drag the adjustment layer above the clip you want to apply the shake to. Make sure you're at the beginning of the adjustment layer, then apply the motion tile effect. Under the effect, click the tile center stopwatch to add a keyframe. We'll animate the X and Y values of tile center to create a smooth shake. Just make sure to follow my steps as I do, or feel free to adjust the shake to your liking. The key is to keep everything accurate and smooth. Drag the tile center slightly up toward the right from the center, something like this. Make sure it stays close to the center, not too far and not too close. Next scroll forward a few frames and move the tile center down toward the left. Scroll forward a bit more and move the tile center slightly upward, keeping it on the right side and closer to the center. Then go a few frames forward again and move it slightly down toward the right, something like this. Finally scroll to the end of the layer and reset the values to default by right-clicking tile center and selecting reset. Next enable mirror edges and set both output width and output height to 150. Once that's done, scroll back to the beginning of the layer and apply directional blur. Click the blur length stopwatch and set the blurriness to 45. Then scroll to the middle of the layer and set the blurriness back to 0. Scroll back to the beginning of the layer and apply the turbulent displace effect. Set the amount to 30, then click the stopwatch icon to add a keyframe. Next set the evolution to 120 and click the stopwatch icon to add a keyframe for it as well. Then scroll to the very end of the layer and change both amount and evolution to 0. Let's scroll back to the beginning once more and apply the final effect, optics compensation. Change the field of view to 65, then click the stopwatch icon to add a keyframe and enable reverse layer lens distortion. Now scroll to the middle of the layer and change the field of view to zero. Finally enable motion blur on the adjustment layer, and we can preview the shake effect. Nice, everything looks great and the shake is really smooth. Hope you found this video helpful, thanks for watching and if you enjoyed it, please give it a like.